at the time of his arrest in March, mm -hmm. then he's one of our members, so we wished to know what was happening. And Sunderland kept us informed that he was being suspended uh, for 14 days in accordance with the contract. Mm -hmm. As one of our members, of course, we were interested to know what they were doing. They kept us informed, and then at the end of that suspension, there was still, he'd been arrested, but there were no charges. Mm -hmm. And as a result, they told us he was being reinstated into the club. They told you, so there was no... And that, that was it. No, we had our delegate liaison officer for Sunderland, Richard Jobson, was up there went up there, they asked him to go up when they issued the statement that they did at that time. Also, of course, uh, like Sunderland, we were aware that he pleaded uh, not guilty to the charges. And also Sunderland rang us on the first day of the trial uh, to say they were dismissing him because he'd pleaded guilty to two of the charges and uh, at that juncture we could have no objections. As a matter for Sunderland Football Club and the same when he was back at the club, that would be their choice whether they played him or not. Okay, so the PFA didn't put any pressure on Sunderland to reinstate No, not at all. They also took uh, independent legal advice as well. The contract is there for all to see. So they had acted in accordance with the contract with the grievance procedure and the disciplinary procedure.